Lesson 71, Taking a Taxi Hello Miss, do you need a taxi? Yes. Do you have any luggage? Just these two suitcases. Okay, I'll put them in the back for you. Where are you going? The Comfort Inn. I think there are two in Boston. Which one are you going to? The one downtown. Is this your first time in Boston? No. I've been here many times. I come here for work all the time. Do you know how long it'll take? It shouldn't take long. Probably about 15 minutes. Wow, it looks like the traffic is really bad. Yeah, there might be an accident up ahead. Okay, then stop at the next intersection. I'm gonna get out there and take the subway. Lesson 72, we're not lost. Are you hungry? No, why? We've been driving for a long time. I think we'd better find some place to eat soon. No, I'm okay. We're late so we'd better not stop. We've passed that same store three times already. I think we're lost. We should ask someone for directions. We're not lost. I've never gone this way before. Do you know where you're going? Yes, this road goes through town. It's faster than the highway. Okay. Would you mind driving a little slower please? Sure, no problem. Did you see that sign back there? I think this is a one-way street. No, I didn't see it. I'm going to have to turn around. You can't turn around here? I think you should let me drive. I think you're right. I'm getting tired. Lesson 73, help me find my purse. Adam, can you do me a favor? Sure. I can't find my purse. Can you help me? No problem, I'll help you look for it. Thanks. What color is it? It's black. Did you look in the kitchen? Yes. I already looked there. I'll look in the living room. Did you find it? No. It's not in there. When was the last time you saw it? I had it when I went to the library this morning. Do you think you might have left it there? Maybe. I'll call the library and ask them if anyone found it. Wait, is this it? Yes, that's it. That's my purse. Thanks for helping me find it. Lesson 74, Taking Pictures Excuse me, sir, will you take a picture of us? Sure. This is a really nice camera. Thanks, my parents gave it to me. How do you use it? You press this button here. Come a little closer. Wait, that's too close. Move a little to the left. Move back a little farther. Okay, stay right there. Do you mean here? Yes, that's good. Oh, I can't get it to work. You need to hold down the button for about three seconds. Okay I got it, are you ready? Yes. Smile. Lesson 75, I dropped your calculator. Hi Tracy, what's going on? 
Hi Thomas. I'm waiting in line to buy a DVD player. The line is too long. Why don't you come back tomorrow? I think you are right. They're going to close soon. Let's go get some coffee. Okay. Wait a minute. I have to get something out of my purse. Will you hold this for me? Sure. Oops. What happened? I dropped your calculator. Is it broken? I'm not sure. Let me have a look. No, I don't think it's broken. The button came off though. I can fix it. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. I do that all the time. If it is broken, I have another one in my car. Lesson 76. I brought you an apple. Hey, how did you get here? I rode my bike. Are you serious? Why did you do that? I could have picked eat you up. That's okay. I didn't want to bother you. I know you don't like to wake up early. That's so nice of you. Aren't you cold? No, not really. I wore a coat. What's in the bag? It's a special type of apple. Oh, can I try one? It's very sweet. I put sugar on it. These apples are really good. They were only 30 cents each. Aren't those more expensive than the ones at the supermarket? Yeah, they're more expensive, but they taste better. Did you buy any other fruit? Well, besides the apples, I bought oranges and bananas. Lesson 77, My Mother Hello? Hi, are you still up? Yes. You sound tired, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. I'm just getting ready to go to bed. It's been a really long day. Do you have time to get some coffee with me later? I have something I want to talk to you about. No, sorry. Not today. I have to get up early tomorrow. Oh, what are you going to do tomorrow? My mother-in-law is coming over so I have to get up early and clean the house. I see. Are you free tomorrow? Yes, in the afternoon. I have to finish something I'm working on, but I'll be free after 3.30. Do you want to get together after you finish work? Do you think you'll have time? Yeah, my mother-in-law will be leaving here around 2 p.m. Lesson 78, Jim cancelled the meeting. Hey, I just talked to Jim. What did he say? He said he had to cancel the meeting this afternoon. Oh, I see. Is there a problem? No, it's not a big deal. He and I were supposed to talk to some new customers today. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. This has been happening quite a bit recently. That's strange. I wonder why? His wife has been sick, so sometimes he has to go home early to take care of her. I see. How's work been going? Things are slow right now. Would you mind if I borrow your phone? Mine's out of batteries and I have to call my boss to tell him about this. Okay, let me go get it. It's in the car. Lesson 79, Bill got fired. Hello? 
Hi John, sorry for calling so late, I hope I didn't wake you up. Actually, I was just finishing some work. I haven't gone to bed yet. Did you hear Bill got fired yesterday? No. I didn't hear that. Are you sure? Yeah, Sarah told me this afternoon. She was pretty upset about it. That's too bad. Bill's a nice guy. Yeah, I know. Why did they fire him? She didn't say. I see. Well, if you talk to Sarah again, tell her there's a job opening at my company. Bill can have an interview this week if he wants. Oh, thank you so much. I'll call her and tell her. Lesson 80, Nervous About Surgery Hi Jim. Hi Karen. You look upset. What's wrong? It's nothing. I'm just a little nervous. Is everything all right? Well, I'm having surgery tomorrow on my finger. What's wrong with your finger? I broke it the other day playing basketball. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah. It's been bothering me since that day. Are you afraid of having surgery? Yes. I've never had surgery before. I wouldn't worry. I had to have surgery on my leg last year. Everything went fine. Were you nervous before the surgery? A little. Who's your doctor? Dr. Allen. Oh, I've heard he's really good. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Good. That makes me feel much better. Lesson 81, A Romantic Story Betty, are you and John still dating? Yeah, things are going really good. Where did you meet him? I met him at the library a couple of weeks ago. We were sitting at the same table and he asked to borrow my pen. Wow, that's a nice story. I was telling Jim about it the other day. He thought it was pretty romantic. Do you two have plans for tonight? Yes, I think we're going to rent a movie. Have you seen anything good lately? I saw Spider-Man the other day. I've heard that's a really funny movie. Are you kidding? That movie's not funny. It's sad. I was crying at the end. You're really sensitive, aren't you? I guess so. Maybe that's why I can't find a girlfriend. Lesson 82, Worried About Dad Hi Peter, can I talk to you for a moment? I just heard the cookie factory downtown is going out of business. Where did you hear that? Sarah told me. I'm not sure that's true. I haven't heard anything about it. She said that they have already started to lay people off. Doesn't your father work there? Yes, I'm really worried he might get laid off, he just started to work there about three months ago. What do you think I should do? I'd talk to your father. Yeah, but if there was something wrong I don't think he'd tell me. He doesn't like to upset me, but I really would like to know what's going on. So what are you gonna do? Aren't you good friends with the president of that company? Yes, we used to work together at a different company about five years ago. Maybe you could call him and see what's going on. Well, I don't know. I guess I could. It's pretty late now.
but I'll call him in the morning. Okay, thanks so much, 